When it comes to machining valve seats, about the number one enemy is chatter or vibration in the cutting process. The biggest contributor to chatter is a lack of rigidity in your tooling and fixturing, which is why I always stress how important it is to size our valve guides properly and choose the correct valve guide pilot to fit in the guide during our machining. If the cylinder head is mounted tight and the pilot fits well, you've done almost all you can do in terms of rigidity. There are some materials that simply don't like to cut as well as others. For instance, super hard exhaust seats which are meant to stand up in heavy duty diesel or natural gas applications. Other times you find yourself in a situation where you're cutting with almost the entire surface area of your cutting insert and the heavy cut induces the chatter. The fact is, some causes of chatter are easy to eliminate, but there are other times where you have to get creative. Since owning our Surti 4.5, I've learned several tricks to help combat chatter. Sometimes running a bit of cutting fluid or coolant does the trick. Other times it's as simple as running the spindle faster or slower, or just keeping the right amount of pressure feeding the cutter into the workpiece. A lot of it comes down to experience. The method that seems to work the most universally is what I refer to as a ramp up technique, in which I set the spindle RPM to the maximum speed, activate the spindle from a stop, and touch off on the seat as the spindle ramps up to speed. The varying RPM as the cut is performed prevents any resonance from occurring, thus cutting down on chatter significantly. We aren't the only ones who have figured that out, and actually since we ordered our Surti 4.5 in 2020, they have come out with a feature on all of their new machines called Continuous Spindle Speed Variation. Having seen some of our videos, they offered to get us set up with the CSSV upgrade for our machine, so we're going to get it installed and put it to the test. Now let it be known, I'm no electrician, and I actually tend to stay away from electrical projects because I have been known to let the smoke out of more than one electrical component in my day, but the CSSV upgrade turns out to be a very straightforward retrofit. Install the two supplied terminal blocks. Okay, now link together the two terminals labeled 63 with a jumper. You're supposed to find the brown and blue and the white and blue wire here. Don't mind that guy, it's messed up there. With the CSSV installed, we now have the option to force the spindle to continuously oscillate around our nominal speed, thus preventing the cutter from settling into any resonant vibration. To put it to the test and make a comparison, we have a Ford head up on the Surti that we actually use as a training head, and I grabbed a random cutting insert and adjusted it such that the load on the cutter is extensive enough that I know we are likely to encounter chatter. Now in a real life situation, this is about the worst case scenario. Our seat is on the border of our final depth, but we have a nasty chattery finish. In this situation, you need to fix the surface finish on the seat without sinking it much deeper if you want your valve heights to come out correct. This is a situation where I commonly use the ramp up technique, but here let's give the CSSV a go. It took just a few oscillations and still requires a bit of operator finesse, but we have a chatter-free seat right as that sliver of top angle comes in, exactly like we would hope for. In that particular instance, we didn't activate the CSSV while cutting as soon as the chatter began. So on the next seat, we're going to activate the CSSV on the fly, hopefully cutting the chatter and allowing us to go straight to our final depth with a clean, chatter-free cut. Continuous spindle speed variation may not be the magical fix to every instance of valve seat chatter, but I think it will be another valuable tool in the toolbox of tricks to help keep the quality of our cylinder heads top notch. Time will tell as we put it through the paces on the various applications we see in our shop, so be sure to like and subscribe for the future tests.